Si te ando en el maldito del día de la sí. No quiero el maldito. Sí, no me vende. Eso es el chef. Pues es tomar. Sorry, man. I'm a replacing good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to the people's forum of in the streets with big stone now today in the gleaner there's a very funny cartoon by last me and it's a cartoon depicting Floyd Green hiding under a bed the caption wrote Floyd and you give the cops your COVID breach video but them now nah go lock you up cause you not living at the ghetto <laughs> very funny indeed now let's go to the newspaper because this is even more frightening than the cartoon let's take a listen as to what is happening in the Jamaica Gleaner today Prime Minister Andrew Onis says former Agriculture Minister Floyd Green who resigned on Wednesday will have a role to play in the House of Representatives given his expertise. Onis has signal that Green could be heading for parliamentary committees. Green's resignation came hours after a social media storm swirled over a video of him, Mona Division Councillor Andrew Bellamy and others partying maskless at the R Hotel in New Kingston and toasting to No Movement Day. Bellamy also resigned from the board of the Southeast Regional Health Authority and from all committees that he chaired at the Kingston and the St. Andrew Municipal Corporation. Only stated on Wednesday that his meeting with Green and his resignation, it was discussed that there may be other areas in which his expertise could be offered. The remark was criticized by some as sending the wrong signal as it regards to accountability. Onis, who was on tour at the vaccination blitz sites in the southwestern St. Andrew constituency today, clarified that he is of the view that Green could offer his expertise in Parliament. Former Minister Green still remains a member of Parliament, an MP, and in Parliament there are certain functions which members of Parliament are entitled to do, he told the Gleaner. Only said that his administration has seen where there is a need to strengthen parliamentary committees and that the addition of Green is likely to do that. He said it is his view that the 39-year-old attorney now being available could be quite beneficial. Onis' initial comment has drawn criticism from the likes of former St. James Central Member of Parliament and political analyst Lloyd B. Smith, who said that Green should stay in the confines of the southwestern St. Elizabeth constituency and work his way back up. But even then, only said that there were opinions still being offered to him suggesting that Green should not have had to resign in the context of Jamaica being a forgiving country. It is something that I have wrestled with. Yes, our culture, I am sure the leader of the opposition would agree, is one where we forgive, but we are now involving into new dispensation a new culture of accountability and I think Floyd acknowledges that on set. Opposition leader Mark Golden who joined the Prime Minister on tour objected to his position arguing that when signals of accountability are being sent it is critical that they are not diluted or appear to be a facade. He said Green's trespass of frolicking with friends at a party in New Kingston on a no movement day was unacceptable to the society. Golden said Green made the right decision in stepping back 
and should not resurface until he shows a new level of maturity on an important issue. This is not the time to be trying to find avenues to sort of reaccommodate him elsewhere. He's an MP and he can play that role as MP, Golden says. Owen is interjected, stressing that Green will not be serving outside of his parliamentary duties as an MP. He's not going to be given a role outside of his original duties, which are as a member of parliament. So that's not a delusion in any way of his accountability step that he has taken. Onus rebutted. Ha 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 ha. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm wondering why is this conversation even taking place? We should look at how the common Jamaican people were treated when they were found breaching the Disaster Risk Management Act. What is good for the goose must be good for the gander. I don't give a damn about any parliamentarian who should be given preferential treatment. They should be facing the full brunt of the Disaster Risk Management Act and it should send a signal to every member of I position, I society, that this is a law that should be taken serious. Remember, we are undergoing a serious pandemic where people's lives are being lost here. Look at what has been happening. Look at the amount of people that have died as a result of not doing the right thing. And I'm saying that with conviction, not doing the right thing, not maintaining um, on practicing social protocols like sanitizing your hands uh, six feet apart and of course wear your mask. In that video you can see clearly not one person was wearing a mask. There was a woman that was seen with a mask way below her nostril which is not the correct way to wear a mask. So Mr. Prime Minister I would want you to look back at these statements that you have made publicly and to look at how you're governing this country. What is good for the goose must be good for the gander. Jamaica, I need to hear from you on this. Make your comment in the comment section. Do you think that a uh, member of parliament, Fly Green, should allow to work in other areas as a parliamentarian? Or should he be arrested and face the full brunt of the Disaster Risk Management Act just like everybody else thank you very much for watching please like and share this video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel now is the time to do so